perfect for eating outside for dinner. Wonderful again tonight, Mark. Nights as a kid growing up, we had a picnic table out on our back porch. We go out and eat there, and it felt great. And this is a great night to do it. I can actually see the moon now, but there are a couple of showers that are actually close by. Let's start off though with a quick look over uh, downtown Birmingham, and you'll see that we've got uh, temperatures still in the mid 70s. This is incredible for February, but we'll take it. Feels good. 75 now for Birmingham and low 70s in many spots across the area. And as we look at the temperatures across central Alabama, they will gradually continue to go down, but we're not going to cool off a whole lot. I expect only low to mid 60s as we go through the overnight hours into early tomorrow. And part of that is thanks to this tropical, very humid air mass which is moving in, and that continues to feed rain to our west and Actually, a couple of showers that have been moving through parts of our viewing area now just near the Leeds Moody area and a couple of showers now which are tracking up through St. Clair County and we saw a little bit of rain earlier, but it just didn't amount to a whole lot so far. But as we go through our day tomorrow, we could see showers popping up, especially west of I-65. That'll be the best area for any showers, not ruling it out for those of you east of 65, but the heavier rain chances will be from I-65 westward and then that line will pass through here. And then once we get into uh, Wednesday night and early Thursday, still a shot at some rain. We're not going to clear out very quickly. We are going to have to deal with clouds and again, warm temperatures. We're now looking at maybe low to mid 80s on Friday, and that's with sunshine breaking through a bit more of the cloud cover. You'll see in our storm track uh, future cast for the next seven days, the rain stays at bay just to our north and west. Maybe a couple of our northwest counties getting a little bit of light rain, but that's all thanks to high pressure, which is just blocking every Thing from swinging through here. Now that high pressure will eventually start to weaken and that will allow for a frontal boundary in the rain to pass through here and that will be more substantial for late Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday. And then once we get into Monday, that return flow brings us more rain. But here's the key. Our temperatures will be cooler. We'll start to see numbers which are back down into the low 60s for highs and the overnights. Well, checking conditions. Here's your storm track seven day. They will be mild, but we do have a dry day on Friday. And then again, as we get into the middle of next week, so no major storm system that is going to impact us with anything strong or severe. So this is a good week to have the severe weather preparedness and awareness week that we want to make sure that you, your family and make sure your kids know what to do in the event of a tornado. You may not always be together or any severe weather for that matter, but if your kids understand what to do, if they're not with you, that's also very important and the right place to go because when severe weather happens, it happens fast in Alabama. Guys.